Hello, welcome back to Matt's Gaming Corner. Here are for the second episode of the Telltale's Guardians of the Galaxy game. And I'm thinking this one's probably going to be a uh, Rocket, Rocket Raccoon focused episode. Considering he's the character on the title screen. Smile, son of a No, oh, he killed Josh Brolin. You have something I desire. The Eternity Forge. Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. Go out on a high note. I keep thinking about Nebula. Imagine how she's gonna react when she finds out we killed Thanos. Like you said, she's your sister. Trust me. I know. Like, I like the order I'm doing it. these in. Maybe you're one episode right. of Guardians and then one episode of Batman. I just love Batman Thanos so much. I believe in the water. My people destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, the Eternity Forge will be our salvation. You have his body. <laughs> I can't believe it. We'll dispatch some officers to your location. The galaxy owes you a debt it can never repay. I will not rest until we have conquered every star system in the galaxy. Starting with you. <laughs> throat feels weird. <coughs> Always at this time, I get I get my throat extra thirsty. Come find me, Peter. Yet. Wow! No! 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 How are you? Yeah, so, uh, I guess I was dead and now uh, apparently I'm not. This is impossible. Impossible is one thing. This, <laughs> this is freaky. How do we know you are really Peter Quill? Prove it to me. What do you expect him I to do? If Jack he is really a Peter Quill, he will know. Oh, just come on. Right? Who else could master these sick moves stop stop doing that with your pelvis what this <laughs> that is most disturbing okay great everybody calm now huh we cool no! i am groot he's right the dead don't just come back there's gotta be a catch i mean this is insane you see that don't okay, you? okay rocket just everything comes at a cost do you think i, I could see pushing powers? daisies Heat it's vision, always invisibility. Cost. Ooh, maybe I'll be able to pass through walls. If that's the case, then we're all doomed. You don't want to take this seriously, then fine. What was that? It's Hala. She's caught up to us. Everyone upstairs, we gotta move. I already died once today. I really don't want to try it again.
Everyone, hold on. Things are gonna get a little bumpy. Yeah, that'll help. Peter, you just died. Are you sure you're okay to fly? Yep. More than sure. Oh, oh, easy, Quill. That answer your question? Wear your seatbelt, <laughs> Not really. Where's your seatbelt? I am. Root says he's gonna puke again. <laughs> I think we lost her. This hollow lady's relentless. Why she want this eternity thing so bad? Her ship was full of dead Kree. Thousands of them preserved in stasis pods. Uh, okay. Uh, now I might puke. Save it for when we land, buddy. She could create an unlimited army of Kree soldiers. If this relic falls into Hollis' hands, that's bad news. For everybody. Agreed. Although I would relish in killing her. And then bringing her back to life. And then killing her again. And then bringing her back to life, yes, and then man, killing Drax. her again, and then bringing her back to life, and we then get it, Drax. Very simple. <sighs> now that will be a fair fight. One I would not lose. You know, I'm all for people having opinions, but sometimes Drax shouldn't be allowed to speak. Nah, <laughs> army schmarmy. We could take them all on. Yes, five against thousands. Those odds are wonderful. Ah, oh, you're so. stupid. Nope. Milano can't take much more of this, Pete. I barely got her up and running after your last so-called landing. If we don't find some place to lay low and fix our shit. Yeah, I'm on it. Look, I just need her to hold together for a little longer, Rocket. I might know someone who can help us out. Howard the Duck. Neon District? Looks like it's all Neon District. Where are we? Looks like a Blade like Runner. Never Studios Blade Runner walk around. That they have Let a park. Talking. Quill, if you're here, trouble ain't far behind. My ship's busted, man, and you're the only guy who can fix it. <sighs> now, this is why you never loan stuff to people. Haven't seen you since you left me in the ravages. I hear you're a real hero now. Been helping out them Nova Corp boys. You think I'm letting you in now? You've lost the other half of your mind. Ah, boy. Never thought you'd turn into a spineless, rule-following space cop yourself. Hey, you practically raised me, man. Look, my mom said you're responsible for whatever happens to me. The least you can do is let me in. The least I can do is nothing. He kind of sounds like Pierce's dad on Community. The one with the ivory, the ivory home? wig. Oh! I thought it was just you, Quill. Not all your little playmates. Hey, hey! No plants on the roof. These guys are my family, Yondu. Aw, made her smile. Great, okay, quick introductions then. This is Gamora. See now, nice to meet you. Put that away, or I'll cut it off. That's Groot. Drax, say hi. These are terrible. What do you think you're doing? That's my food, mine. 
A warrior must eat. And last but not least, Rocket. R rocket! What I don't the hell, Rocket? Ravages. They'll shoot you in the back the first moment they get. Well, I don't trust animals that can talk, Rocket. <laughs> we are guests inside Yandu's beautiful home. Please don't blow it and everyone inside of it to tiny little pieces. This place is already a garbage heap. A little kaboom would do it good. What? his face. What the hell? I've been buying black market trinkets off this little freak for years. And I've been gladly accepting this idiot's money. You got anything new for me? Oh, we got some. But it ain't for sale. Well, ain't she a beaut? Fit it right in with my collection. Oh, oh, before you get too attached, you should know the Kree are after it. They're willing to kill for it, too. Oh, I was just having a bit of fun. Because I'd rather have the Kree after your hide than mine. Let me see that thing. Oh, are we going in the Andus memories? Wait, where are we at this part? Beautiful. Sometimes it takes stepping back from your problems to see how small they actually are. These last few months haven't been easy. For either of us. But, um... I'm not always gonna be here. I worry about you. Uh, why am I here again? I, I already saw this. Maybe you didn't see all of it. All of You're it. meant for more than this life, Peter. I know you. Wait, are. was Yandu right, right behind us or something? The galaxy. They're gonna kill Thanos and change everything. Stop it! Stop messing with my head! I wish I could, but there's no other way. I'm trying to help you. Hmm. Every time I look up there, I find something new. Something I overlooked. Come sit by me, baby. Hmm? You can see the stars even better from over here. Peter, please. Just for a little bit. Yeah, of course, Mom. Just for a minute, though, okay? That's good. So, what am I supposed to be looking at? The star. I think that one is Canis Major? It's shaped like a dog. That's right. You wanted a pup so badly when you were younger. But you could never have one. Too much money. Closest thing you were ever gonna get was that constellation. You used to wish that. I used to think back when I was uh, in grade school. Every we used to night. have this little tent that would be filled up with astrology signs. And then there's this uh, presenter talking about what the Greek myths and stuff were behind the astro. the blah blah blah. the constellations. It's cute. That's Orion. I liked it. No doubt about it. <laughs> it is indeed. First constellation you ever learned. How do you get up inside the car like that? I don't know if that'd be really comfy. That's, uh, that's Gemini, right? The twins? Yep. You used to say they were dancing together. Yeah. I thought it was you and, and Dad. You have one active imagination, Peter. That looks like the Eternity Forge. Sure does. Look closer. That writing. It wasn't there before. 
What? What does it say? Mom? Come find me, Peter. Nah, I don't get it. Guys. I don't think they can hear us. Did you just see what I saw? It's been decades since I've seen your mama's face. Now that was a special treat. Peter? Something was off about that memory. That wasn't how the night ended. Can't help you. I wasn't there the first time. What just happened? I saw how did my he mom. meet her? You heard her, right? She wants me to find her. Wait, look. Wait. Oh, I've I can seen bring her back to life. Before. It's ancient Cree. Stop eating already! God, I can't hear myself think. That'll keep us in suspense. What does it say? You can read that filthy language? No. But I think my sister can. Thanos was after something. An object with these same markings. Let me see that. Nebula and I stole it for him. I don't know what it does, but my sister may have been able to learn something from it. If we can find Nebula, maybe she can help us translate this. Yeah, right before she cuts off all our heads and takes the forge for herself. And who do you think's the first guy she's gonna use it on? Counterpoint? You worry too much. We have to figure this out before Hala does. Are you hearing yourself? Every story you tell us about that robo chick ends with somebody getting eviscerated. Rocket's right. If we go after Nebula, we better be careful. I am prepared for any danger. I've got you covered. I tried to get in contact with Nebula not long ago. Mm -hmm. She won't be hard to track down. Better let me have a look at your ship then. I may have something to fix that lying around. Move your foot. I am Groot. Somebody get this tree away from me. Hey, come on. Don't be a dick towards Groot. Enough mm. with the snacks! Could you be any more useless right now? What's up, man? Is everything okay? Look. I'm no good at this, so I'm just gonna do it fast. I know we don't know a ton about the relic, but the one thing we do know is that it brought you back to life. Now don't tell mm -hmm. me you ain't thought about how you can use that power. Yeah. Well, if anything happened to you guys, I'd use it on you. The ultimate life insurance. Of course you would, because we're important to you. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic, I can make her ungone. Oh. I just I have to try. We gotta go to Half World, Pete. Half I know going after Nebula is the logical move here. I get it. You gotta find out why this thing's affecting you. But this favor, I gotta ask. I ain't told anybody about this before. Oh boy, this is toughy. This is a toughy. All right. If this person means that much to you. We'll go. Really? Thanks. Uh, this is pretty important. The rocket. He's pretty closed Help off. This is probably boy. a good idea. Your friend over here keeps dropping it on my foot. It slipped. Let's get going.
That'll do it. Have that little furball of yours give her a good rev to warm up the engines. Should be right to go. Where are we going, Star Lord? We got a little detour to make. Right, Quill? Right. Well, I could have some business to take care of on Half World. We don't have time for a detour. We've got more urgent problems to deal with right now. Peter, there's something you need to see. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, what is it now? promised. We're going. I found Nebula. She's taken Thanos' ship. She's heading to a remote Nova Corps outpost. Peter, she's going after Thanos' body. Oh. And we're supposed to care because... If I know my sister, she'll kill anyone who gets in her way. Then we have okay, to we get gotta to save her before she gets away. We can't lose track of her again. We'd better hurry. Wait, what? You promised, Pete! We need her to help us translate the Eternity Forge. Nebula isn't going to just wait for us to intercept her. Look, a promise is a promise. Pete and I are going to Half World. Intercepting Nebula is more important. You don't get to say what's more important. When it's a matter of civilian lives, yes, I do. We're going to Half World. Thanks, buddy. I owe you one. Peter, but Nebula. Good luck translating the forge without my sister. <sighs> That's very, really good rocket. Ooh, candy. Who has been eating all this candy? Groot? Oh, yes! Rocket must have got it working again. What do I press? Oh, here we go. Funny how alien all my earth junk starts to look after a while. Come on. Don't die on me. Need some help with that? No. No, it's fine. Just shorts out every now and then. Ah, ah crap. I think I got something in the engine room to fix this. If you want to talk, I'll be down there. Okie dokie. Touch that. I gave you this ship. Or at least I think it did. Can barely recognize it now. Look at all this crap you added to it. Hey Drax. You doing all right? When Thanos was alive, I was a warrior with a singular purpose. Yeah, useless to me. The others have made that very obvious to me. Maybe I should have seen it sooner. Don't say that. I still want you around, Drax. Thank you, Quill. 
I hope I do not squander your companionship. Clearly my skills, they are no longer as helpful as I had hoped. You should try talking to the others. You know, maybe they can teach you something new, help you find a, a new purpose. Who would you suggest? <sighs> I don't know. Go talk to Gamora. She'll teach you to focus. And she's no stranger to the whole changing your purpose abruptly thing. Yes. His focus would be good. I will yeah, speak I think they get her. along really good. I should get going. Star-Lord. You still seem troubled by the visions of your mother. I am here to comfort you about such matters. Honestly, I'm freaking out. These visions, they... They're real. Visions cannot be real, Peter Quill. That is why they are visions. If I could see visions, I would be concerned as well. But not agitated as you are. Uh, okay. Agitation is for the weak. Good to know. Thanks for the pep talk, Drax. Really great. You are welcome, friend. Uh, I don't want to hate him, but look at that face. He likes me. Where are Gamora's? What are those? Little nuts and bolts? Seriously, this stuff's everywhere! Misfits, and what do you get? Slobs. Peter, that's what you get. Hey, how's my favorite tree? I am Hoot. You think Rocket's gonna be okay? I'm worried about him. I am Groot. Well, this has been a lively and fascinating conversation. I am Groot. Wait, wait. Shouldn't these parts be in the ship or something? That is a good point. Hey, Rocket. Hi, Quill. I'll leave you alone. Later, Quill. Bye. What's the point of that, then? Okay, find Gamora, talk to her, then get to Half World. Oh, Piper snoring. Piper. Piper poo. Oh, yeah, that's probably where she'd be. this none of your business don't make me regret letting you in here it wasn't easy to find those guy who sold them to me tried to charge me a fortune oh the flowers of our home I world isn't it him otherwise You got a lot of sharp knives in here. 
How do you sleep with this stuff everywhere? Peacefully. <laughs> I have much respect for your methods of decapitation, Gamora. Uh, thanks, Drax. Not really the point of that story, though. Sorry, Quill. I must focus my attention. Glad to see you two getting along. Hey, Gamora. Are you, uh... You okay? This might have nope. been our only chance to catch Nebula, and I... She could be gone by the time we find her, and then... I don't know what happens then. I'm sorry, I, I, I really don't want to talk about it. <sighs> we really screwed up. Only present I ever got from Yondu. Found it on a stolen freighter covered in garbage. <laughs> Said it reminded him of me. Rocket wouldn't let me put these in the common area. Let's go, champ! <laughs> See if any new emails. fanboy. Oh, come on. I thought Groove was gonna write something. from the first episode.
that's enough. Let's go traveling. Heads up, everyone. We're going to Half World. Later, Quill. Don't be a stranger. Ah, uh, thank you, Yondu. And take care of the Milano. She's a ship, not a trash can. It's always fun seeing you, Yondu. It has been a pleasure. Don't overdo it now. Bye, Gamond. Hala has found us. Oh, damn. And this is what we call great timing. And that's a wrap for this episode tonight. See you guys on the weekend. Take care. Love y'all. Good night.